Hey Queens, I'm Bailey. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be shopping my stash for the month of September. I did miss last month because when I filmed I had food in my teeth. Didn't realize it till I was um, editing and I didn't refilm it because I didn't want to go through all that again. So <laughs> sorry about that but um, here we are. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, everyone hit that like button because it would help your girl out. Let's get started. All right, hey you guys, different little setup here. Um, normally you see me and I'm just like showing you stuff as I go, but I felt like, you know, with Shop My Stashes, people normally like have just the product showing and they're able to show their whole collection. I can't do that because I would have to move a lot of stuff around. Um, but I felt like maybe moving the angle of my ring light would make this easier. So try this. Tell me what you think about this angle and we'll just see how it goes. Um, wow, things are kind of disarray. But um, this is one of the three everyday organizers that I use for my makeup. So let's get through it. This is just a bunch of liners that I always have over here. I have a brown one from ColourPop, a pink one from Wet n Wild, a coral one from uh, ColourPop, and a nude one from ColourPop. And then this is the Huda Booty. I always say booty. Huda Beauty. Um, it's a double-ended one, but I only use the pencil liner because I don't do liquid. Those are always there. My Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil is always there. Belly Girl Concealer, always staple. I have these three lipsticks here all the time because they leak like an oil. <laughs> so I keep them there so that they don't get everything dirty. These are the Give Me Glow liquid lipsticks in the shades Sweater Weather, Black Magic, and Pumpkin and Spices. I'm hoping to actually get use out of them in September and October. We will see. They aren't my favorite formula, so I don't know, but we will see. Um, I have my Ace Beauté Seal It setting spray. I am almost out, like we are at the bottom of it. So I'm gonna just keep that in. And then that, <laughs> that's Project Pam. Um, this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion um, foundation. I'm not a real big fan of it. Um, it's not my favorite, but I did get some use out of it this month, so we will be rolling a different foundation in. Um, lipsticks, I got a lot going on here. Those are my Project Pan ones. This is my uh, lip care balm sort of situation. Um, this is my everyday thing right now. I am just trying to kind of get use out of it and finish it up. It's the Hemp's Lip Balm. It's okay, it's pretty basic. But these are my lipsticks that I used for this past month and I did a bad job with them. I didn't use this one at all. This is the Line Crime Plushie in, what shade is that? Pumpkin Latte, that's gonna stay in. I used this once. This is the Line Crime Soft Touch Lipstick in Flamingo Pink. Let me just show you what it looks like. This is Flamingo Pink, and I like using it in the center of my lips more than anything, so that was really nice. I used it with a lip liner, and it looked really good, so definitely gonna put that back, but really happy I used it. Uh, this is one I actually used today. This is the ColourPop Sailor Moon Ultra Blotted Lip in Yusagi. This is what it looks like. Wow. Pink. So that's that. That can go. Didn't use this one at all. This is the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls. Um, what is this? Roller Balm in Buttercup. So keeping that in. Uh, this is the Physician's Formula Diamond Plumper in the shade Light Pink Princess Cut. Okay, anyways, this is what this looks like. I am wearing this today. I used it twice. I got it for my birthday. You can't really see, but it has the lightest, 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 lightest pink shimmer. I do really like it, so very happy my mom got this for me. Thank you, mommy. And lastly is something else I didn't use. This is the Rock and Roll Beauty Aussie um, Liquid Lipstick in Soul Sucker. So I'm hoping to use this in the fall because it is like a 
deeper shade. I do really like it. So hopefully I can get use out of it in September. Okay, moving on. Let's look at my palettes here. These three are project pans, so they are staying. So let's get into these. Um, I think I used this once. This is the BH Trendy in Tokyo palette. I don't remember what I did. But I'm pretty sure I used it. We're going to say that I used it. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I do like this palette. It's, no, I know I did. Because I used this yellow. I remember because it's not the best. But did use it. I do like it. Not the best, but I do like it. Then we've got the Zoeva Premier palette. It is very dirty. Did I use this? Yes, because I used this shade on my outer corner and I really, really liked it. So yeah, I did use that probably once or twice. Didn't use this at all, so I'm gonna keep this in. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow palette. I, I really don't get a lot of use out of this. Um, I thought I was gonna like it a lot more than I do. But I don't know, um, I feel like cohesively the products don't work the best together for what they are and the shades that they are. Um, but yeah, um, I'll keep this in and at least use it once, hopefully. Uh, this is the Flower Desert Lights palette. I did finally get this for my birthday. I always do a big Ulta haul for my birthday because they give you coupons and you get extra points and all this stuff. So this was part of that purchase and I did use it a couple times as you can see. And I love this palette. I love the lights palettes. They just came out with two more and um, probably gonna get them because I love this formula. All right, um, then we have the ColourPop Lost in Wonderland palette. And I did only use this once, which was today, and it's technically September. So, um, yeah, very, very, very much in love with this color story. I just didn't wear makeup a lot on the weekends. I just wasn't feeling it. But oh, I used this, 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 and this, and all very, 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 very beautiful. So very happy about this. I do... Do I keep it in? I'm going to keep it in. I, I'm going to keep it in. Uh, this is the Daydreaming palette by ColourPop. Also got this for my birthday because I don't know what it is, but right now I'm really into these like cool purple tone palettes that are very much muted. Not like in your face purple, but muted. I do want to keep this in as well because I didn't really get to play with this salon a lot. So yeah, we're going to keep that in. These two I'm taking out. These are my two Natasha Denona like five pans. I'm sorry all my makeup is actually filthy, but that's just my life. So this is the Peak Palette. This is the Cupid Palette. And, oh, I do have progress. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Pan. And that little, little baby pan. But um, I really do like the mattes in these. I think the matte formula is good. The shimmer formula is just okay. I did use this one a lot as well. I have a good dip here and here. Um, but, yeah, I... I don't know. They're not my favorite formulas and I will never, ever, ever, ever actually purchase makeup from Natasha Denona because I'm just, I'm not very happy with everything. Like again, with the face palette, I was, I'm not really happy with it. I mean, they're good. I'll use them, but I don't know. I'm just not thrilled by them. The only reason why I have these two is because I got them in a BoxyCharm box. So these are, these are going away. <laughs> All right. Last little organizer here. Okay. This stuff, not this. This stuff is Project Pan, so ignore it. Over here, we have my Kiko Milano bronzer, which I am panning a bronzer, but that bronzer is very deep and warm. So I use this when I don't want that kind of look. And... This was barely touched when I brought it in and look at it now, holy crap. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's a shallow pan. It has this embossing that's like, I don't know, but it does fall apart because it has this weird embossing and in between the like waves, it's like really shallow. So I like the formula, but I really wish they would have 
embossed it differently. <laughs> Oh, I have another eyeshadow palette in here. I forgot about this. This is the Hello Kitty ColourPop palette in Pineapple Cake. I did use this, I think, twice. I meant to use it a lot more, um, but I forgot about it like I did just now. So there's that. And it is going to leave. <laughs> then, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bump into it. Then we have the, there's a lot of ColourPop. I have a lot of ColourPop makeup, so sorry. But this is the ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush in the shade Bubbles. I wanted to get a good feel on this blush because I forgot like what it was like and I do really like it and I think um, I do want to pan it um, so that maybe I could go and get like more of these but in different shades. Um, so we'll see but this shade is not like my favorite but yeah. Then we have the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. And this is seriously like my favorite highlighter of all time. It just makes your face look so wet in like the perfect kind of way if you're into that kind of look, which I most definitely am. I do have a ton of use in this and still have a lot of product left. So, I mean, this is going to leave and we'll bring something in. I got this in my boxy charm for August. This is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Loose Powder. I did use it once. I have used Ciate's London's um, powder before, and it's just okay. It is something you have to touch up throughout the day, which I am not a fan of. I like having a powder that I can put on, and at the end of the day, I may look a little dewy, but I still look good. You know what I mean? I don't necessarily look good at the end of the day with this. All right, then we have the Shana B Miami blush in Rosa. This is a cream blush. And I hit pan on it and I got a lot of use out of it. Um, when I wasn't using my Project Pan blushes, this is what I was using. And um, yeah, got a lot of use. And this one I have to go on a project so I can just get it out. I have some, not a lot of product left. So that's how that's looking. I really just had so much high hopes for this when I bought it and having it on my face, I wasn't too happy about it. I did wear it once. This is the ColourPop Snow White Super Shock Cheek in Fair Enough. And this is what it looks like. And it's just too on the red side, which is on theme for the product. I, I totally get that, totally get that, but I don't think it's very flattering on me. I don't know. I'm going to keep it for now. We'll see. We're going to keep moving on. Two more products to go before we pick out new products. This is the uh, Rock and Roll Beauty Aussie Single Shadow in Believer. I didn't use this at all, so I am going to keep it in. And then lastly, we have my Tartise Pro Glow Palette, which I only decided to use the blushes in here because they are the only products that work for me. And I don't really like the other like products in here. So here's the blush I was using. I didn't have pan before, I have pan now. So excited about that. Really want to get this palette out of my collection. So next year I'm probably gonna pan this again and try to get it out. So let's, uh, let's shut my stash now. All right, here we go. This is a lot of my base stuff and single shadows and stuff. Um, so let's get into it. I'm not gonna bring in a primer because I am panning one and I only have one other one left. Um, for a foundation, I'm gonna bring this in. This is the Elf Lala Sound Satin Foundation. I'm almost done with this, so I'm just gonna bring this in and hopefully finish that up this month. Um, let's see. Oh, I do have this. Um, I'm gonna bring this in as well because I know this works well with the e.l.f. foundation. This is the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Well Glow SPF Primer. So I'm gonna bring that in too. Let's see. Mm -hmm. um, I need to... Oh, I wanted to bring in another single shadow. I always like to have one in, but since I didn't use that other one, I do want to bring in another. Um, let's move this one in. I don't know how often I've used this one. This is the Aussie Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll Beauty one in Dreamer. Ooh. Yeah, okay, we're going to bring that in. 
gonna bring that in. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this drawer. So this can get back. This drawer is my single blushes, highlighters. Oh, yeah, that does count. Okay, singles, blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. So I do need to pick a bronzer for when I don't want that really warm bronze. So I have this Aesthetica one. I have the regular butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. What else do I have? I thought I had more than that do i not oh that might be it okay um well let's just bring in this physician's formula one why not i'll bring that one in blush 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 um i brought in these recently i used these recently uh, let's see I think this is, yeah, I don't want that. I want to go, sorry to keep kicking you. I want to go more pinky. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. What is this one? Nope, not doing that. Um, gosh, I don't know what I want to do. Um. I mean, that's a safe option. Oh, I do really like this blush. Okay, yeah, definitely bringing this in. This is the ColourPop Hello Kitty in Bundled Up. I love this shade. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Stunning. Okay, bringing that in. And now I need a highlighter that is more cool tone. I recently worked on that one. I had this one in recently too, and it is newer. Um, that is a lot like Baby Girl in my private pan. I kind of want to bring this in. This is the other Snow White blush from the ColourPop collection. Yeah, let's bring that in, see how I feel about it. Um, oh, whoa, that is so soft. Oh, I forget every time. That's pretty. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. What is this again? Oh yeah. Um, highlighter, highlighter. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna go with this one. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome in. I don't know, but that is what that looks like. This next one is my face palettes. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I do really like this. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love this so much from Chase Loose, but I did just recently work on that. Recently worked on that from Ofra. Hmm. I wonder if I should bring this in instead. Yeah. I'm gonna bring in this Ofra palette. It's the Midi palette, Face It Light. I'm gonna take the Physicians Formula bronzer out and put this one in instead. Um, no. Do I wanna bring? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I do not know what I want to do. This one's really pretty. Has that blush and then that. That's a really, I don't know. It's really hard for me to pick out stuff from my shot, my stash because of my private pan. That would give me a lot of variety. Let's try this. And I think I'm gonna try mixing some of these shades. So I'm gonna bring this in as well. And is there anything else? No. I need the project pan these highlighters. But anyways, that is it for the store. Okay, last store before we go on to eyeshadow palettes. I don't know what I want to do at all. Um 
let's bring this in. This is the Bright Beauty, and I think it's a Moosh Boosh and Arrowroot. And it is a nice fall orange, so I want to get some use out of that if I can get it closed. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of bold lipsticks in right now. Um, what is something that is less bold? Less bold. Anything. Anything. <sighs> I think that lipstick is so hard for me. What is this? Oh, that's warm. I don't want that. I want a more cool tone vibe. I haven't used this in a while. Mm, it's really pink. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll go with this. I don't know, I feel like I'd probably just use this as well. Yeah, that is more nude. You know what, no, I'm gonna go with this. This is a L'Oreal lipstick. Don't know what it is or what shade, but looks like that. I'm gonna go with that. And that'll be all the lipstick that I choose since I have so much that I've kept in my shop mustache. So let's move on to eyeshadows. Okay, so these are, I like to really keep track of the eyeshadow palettes that I rotate through. I have so much more than this, but these are all the palettes I haven't used this year or don't remember using. So this is what we're picking from. I am gonna roll these in because these are new to me and I forgot about them. These are the Naruto ColourPop. Did that already rub off? I literally just got this this last month. These are two um, Super Shock Shadows in Sakura Hurano and Sasuke Uchiha. So, bring those in. Um, let's see here. Oh, I'm bringing this in because I just got this. It's the ColourPop Naruto palette. This is what it looks like. So, this is coming in. Um, <laughs> I want... So, um, I want more fall vibes. Oh, I do really like this palette though. Hmm, I do. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. This is a rainbow palette, rainbow palette. This is just pinks. But those oranges, oh, okay, that's a maybe. I know I wanna bring this in because it has orange in it and I just wanna get some use out of it. Oh, this is a fall palette, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna bring this little ray of sunshine in. This one's not coming in. Oh. I love this palette, it's so cute. Um, Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not this time. This is such a fall palette. Okay, maybe. Definitely not this one, just pinks, not coming in. Then this complex culture one, I'm gonna say no to as well. Now this is also a fall palette. Look at that, look at that. I don't know what I wanna do. 
I only have room for three more palettes. I have four sitting here in front of me. Um, definitely this one. I really want to use these oranges. Ah! This one it doesn't have a fall vibe to me, so I'm going to say no. Wow, I didn't realize you've been able to see me this whole time. Hi, hello. Okay, so the winner is it's a mood. Okay, so that is everything that I am picking. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed shopping at my stash with me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one now. Bye-bye.